Now, think of baseball and you probably think of Joe DiMaggio or perhaps the New York Yankees. But it's a little known fact that baseball was once almost as popular here in Wales. This week, one of our oldest baseball clubs, Grange Albion in Cardiff, is celebrating its centenary. And I've been taking a look at 100 years of the game. Sons in sitting on a dockyard wall, watching a Baseball in another time. Before World War II, thousands would have turned out to watch an international game like this one between Wales and England. In 2007, the glory days of the sport are gone, but although the mass popularity of yesteryear may be a distant dream, there are still rays of hope for this traditional summer game. Well, the crowds may be gone, but the sport of baseball is still very much with us uh, in the strongholds of Cardiff and Newport. Uh, one of the places you've always been able to see the game is the Mall here in Grangetown in the capital. And uh, this year it's celebrating its 100th anniversary. As home to Grange Albion, the club who've won the Welsh Baseball League a record 28 times and provided more international players than any other club. Captivated by the skills on show, it wasn't long before I fancied trying my hand. The rules are different to American baseball. Unlike the game stateside, you don't get three strikes before you're out, so one mistake and your innings is over. Also, you get a run for every base reached, so having run all the way round, I was on for a four and a dream start. I've got a funny feeling they may have just bowled me quite an easy one to hit, but I just about managed to get a little top edge on it. And my first home run. I can tell you I'm absolutely exhausted after that, to be honest. Shot, mate, shot. The quicker bowlers can reach speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. <laughs> that was <laughs> close, that was actually. That was like inches away. <laughs> Facing them left me shaken, but surprised that this exciting game isn't played more widely. It's disappointing. It's such a great game. It's a, it's a difficult sport. Not everybody could play the game. Uh, we just wish that it was a bigger and more people got involved in it. I've always thought that I could send a school, a boy to school to play cricket, and he may, he may play for three hours and not, not touch the ball and not get a bat and come home and his, his mum and dad may ask him, how's the game gone? And, you know, he hasn't touched the ball. But in baseball, everybody gets a fair chance. So, after the boom of the last century, why didn't the game catch on like soccer or rugby? Well, there's an interesting academic theory. Rounders were played in inner city suburbs where there were no gentry to, to give the lead. It was, so it was, things, it was generated by the workers themselves and it was related you know, to, their, to their pubs and to their clubs and eventually you know, to, to, to their schools. So that's why I think it became local in that way, very, very much associated with particular neighbourhoods. And I wonder what happens when a great baseballer's dies, they'll join St. Paddy Hennessy in the splot pack of the skies. To celebrate their 100th birthday, the Albion face a combined international team at the Mall on Friday. But what about the sport's future beyond this weekend? Two years ago in Cardiff, there was a crowd of about 4,000 watching Wales and England, so it's too easy to be shot at. You know, you know, and we've been shot at for a few years now, but we're hoping it makes a comeback. Yes, it's a great game, I can tell you. Finally, there's still the prospect of an EGM being called by the WRU's member clubs over the union's refusal to allow Bonamine and Bevi promotion. A petition could be handed in to union bosses by tomorrow. That baseball looked great from Richard, but a bit of a close shave. Yes, it was a bit, wasn't it? I think I've got my uh, cricket training uh, to thank. There, I faced Simon Jones the other year, and I think I've, I've learned to watch the ball. Uh -huh. But uh, if I take my off it, I think I well, I wouldn't have been sitting here, that's for sure. No, I, if turning... I had been, I'd have had a couple of black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> were they turning the heat up on you because they knew where you were from the television? <laughs> I think so. There was a lot of sledging going on there, actually, John. I was under quite a lot of psychological pressure there for a while. Like, they weren't going easy on me at all, actually. But I, I'm quite pleased with my shot there. That was quite a nice little four. Don't yeah, give up the a good job. run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is amazing. You, you do think of it as quite a new game, baseball. It's surprising that not, not so many 
people play it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's an ancient game, I think. I mean, I think it started off back in Russia, I think, sort of centuries ago sort of thing, but they've been playing it in Wales for, for 100 years. Uh, and it's a fantastic game. Everyone's involved all the way through. Uh, and it's, it only lasts for three hours as well, so it's certainly not a drag. Uh, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if anyone wanted to get into it, really. It's, it's a fantastic game, very exciting. Well, nice to see you back here with a, a full smile. <laughs> <laughs>